goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. So here's my new laptop. I'm using it mainly as a video editing station on the go. Right now I'm in a empty classroom while they're in their class. I know, poor kids, they're doing extra Saturday school work. You know, while they're doing their work, I can do my own work and that's uh, right now doing a lot of uh, editing of the videos. The processor behaves similar to my desktop, um, so the speed's reasonable. Um, the rendering speed is reasonable, so I'm quite happy with it so far. The battery is not that bad. It's lasting me about three hours, which is perfect for me. Uh, I don't need, really need it too much more than that. Keyboard function is good. It's a 14 inch laptop, and so I just had to get used to the size of the screen. I mean, it's not the biggest screen um, to do some editing on, but again, um, that's why I do mostly the, the car cam videos on this one for now, or simpler ones, uh, simpler home uh, family videos on this one because I don't have to um, have that many kind of uh, layers uh, in the video. I'll show you kind of my workflow on this and uh, yeah, just about the layers. There's a lot of layers, it makes it difficult. So I wanted to show you what goes into a video like this and you can see the workflow down here, right here. And this is just for a, it's about a seven minute video. Uh, it's just taking clips from my car cam, my dash cam. And yeah, so that's kind of what it looks like. And there's quite a bit of work that goes into it, a lot of editing that goes into it, even though they seem pretty simple. I'm using Pinnacle Studios Pro. Um, it's an older version, I think it's um, 20. And it just, it was on sale. I don't need a subscription for it to be working. And I like it. You know, it works okay. I don't do anything complicated on it. That's my uh, video editing software right now. So RAM and resource usage is always a question when it comes to video editing. And I've heard that 16 gigabytes is the bare minimum that you want to use. But I've found that in Pinnacle Studios Pro, I can get away with eight gigabytes of RAM and it's more than enough to deal with this program and this type of editing software. Now, I got this laptop from an eBay seller called Goodwill Retech. And if you recall from a previous video, my eBay gaming computer that I made for my daughter was also from that auction site on eBay. Now, I want it for about $300 Canadian. And for me, that one of the cheapest people that I know, that's a lot of money, I think, for a computer or a laptop. Uh, and with shipping and import charges is around $350. But when comparing it to other prices, um, it was still quite a bit, quite a deal. Now, typically, this computer goes for around five hundred or more dollars on uh, sites like Amazon. Yes, it's missing the OS, uh, but I was pleasantly surprised when I entered the uh, an old Windows Seven key. And again, I have another video about that as well. It worked, and it actually upgraded to a Windows Ten Pro version. Uh, so that was kind of a nice surprise. Other things I forgot to mention were about the touchpad. Touchpad is fine, uh, it's below, there's no um, little pointy thing on the top of the keyboard there. So it's just the mouse pad and it seems to work okay. Uh, in the end though, I really usually like to use a wireless mouse. I find it a lot faster, a lot quicker to use than the trackpad. Also, if the battery starts to fail, and about three hours worth is kind of the max when I'm actually using it for editing, if I find that the battery starts failing a bit more, I could get one on eBay for about $60. In the description of the seller, it said light gaming. Uh, I don't think from the specs that uh, this is really a gaming computer. Light gaming, it just depends on what you mean by light gaming. Maybe solitaire? I went to my trusty Fortnite, and sure enough, the gameplay was horrible. The FPS was all over the place, and getting killed was uh, somewhat of a habit for me. The uh, fan was spinning on high, and at first I was wondering what that sound was. I've never heard that sound before. Uh, no, it was the uh, fan and the computer working really hard. So this computer as a daily workhorse and video editing machine was totally worth it in my opinion. The size and portability as well as the specs make it a perfect match for my needs. 
this reseller Goodwill Retech really has some good products and I highly recommend them. The content and what they're selling is sometimes different each, you know, as weeks go by. Uh, and right now they're on a bit of a low. I find that there weren't as many products available, but um, I think it'll vary. Now for the joke of the day. I took the shell off my racing snail to make him go fast. They made him sluggish. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next Ladybug Adventure.